Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide the latest and exclusive news on the blockchain and cryptocurrency. On our top stories, we have MIT's outlook on blockchain in 2019, Ethereum's reclamation as the top altcoin, and New York's new crypto dedicated task force. Stay tuned for more. I'm Errol Sun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, has released a report on the future prospect of blockchain in 2019, stating that it will be a boring year. The term boring does not necessarily mean that it will lose value or interest. Rather, compared to the bull run of 2017 and the bear market of 2018, the article suggests that we won't be seeing such drastic movements of price in the coming year. The article then moves on to some of the industry's most notable accomplishments to state that the technology will be normalized and adopted in our daily lives in 2019. Citing Walmart on supply chain management and the application of smart contracts as well as the influx of institutional players, the article predicts 2019 to be a year of real-life adoption and stabilization of the blockchain tech industry. During the winter of 2018, we have seen countless businesses suffer from the aftermath of crypto hangover. And just a few days ago, one more was added to the list, the Japanese e-commerce conglomerate DMM.com. According to a local business magazine in Japan, DMM.com has announced the closure of its crypto mining operations, citing low profitability. Since the launch of its mining operations in the September of 2017, the company has been involved in the mining of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. However, with the decreasing profit margins resulting from the recent bear market, the company had made the decision to shut down its operations. An exciting piece of news for Ethereum enthusiasts as Ether reclaims a top altcoin position, surpassing Ripple's XRP in terms of market cap. For the past few weeks, ranking the third spot in coin market cap, Ethereum's performance has been disappointing to say the least. However, just yesterday, Ethereum investors breathed a sigh of relief as the currency retook the second place again. That's right, Ethereum has reclaimed its throne as the top altcoin, closing the day with the market cap around $15.9 billion. While reasons for the recent rise in market cap are yet to be established, and despite the unusual criticism from the Tron community, it seems that the recent rise in Ethereum's value and market cap could be a sign of a coming bull run in the 2019. Currently trading around $150, Ether saw a 8.24% increase yesterday, making the cryptocurrency one of the biggest gainers of the year among other large cap crypto assets. Mike Novogratz, the ex-Goldman Sachs partner, has increased his stake in Galaxy Digital to hold almost 80% of the company's ownership stake. Galaxy Digital, where Novogratz serves as the chief executive officer, is a cryptocurrency bank for asset management, investment, trading, and advisory services. And currently, Galaxy Digital Holdings is listed on Canada's TSX Venture Exchange, where it hasn't performed so well. However, back to news on the increase of Novogratz's stake, investors responded positively with the share price rising over 7% right after the news. It's been reported that the bank has been losing money for the past few months due to the bear market. But could Novogratz's increased stake be the beginning of a comeback for Galaxy Bank? Or is Novogratz anticipating the first bull run of 2019? More is to be seen. And finally, the state of New York has become the first state in the country to create a cryptocurrency task force in an effort to properly define and regulate cryptocurrencies. Last week, the governor of New York State signed a digital currency study bill to formally announce the launch of the crypto task force. Members of the task force, which include technicians, institutions, projects, and investors, will study the nature of cryptocurrency and blockchain. The reports published by the team will include information about regulatory frameworks, the usage of cryptocurrencies, as well as the cost of mining cryptocurrencies as well. While the task force aims to create a robust blockchain and cryptocurrency environment, the team will also focus on ways to protect investors and traders within the state of New York. Being the first of its kind, hopes are high for this new task force as it attempts to shed more light 
on the mystery surrounding the industry. Bringing the latest news to you, I'm your host Hun with Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thanks for watching.